Hi, and welcome to Thoughts from a Car, episode 3. I'm not going to be doing that as we go forward because I will soon run out of fingers. However, I thought I would start this one off by talking about the promised rant of the day. Rant of the day today is going to feature train tracks. Train tracks in Canada are like this. Not much fun. And they ruin everybody's car and they break things. And breaking things is not good. It also bounces your camera out of its mount, which is even worse. And it costs millions. And it slows you down so you get stuck behind a bloody truck. Never mind, there you go. That's every final we looked at last week. So run of the day is about the train tracks, and train tracks are not good because they kill cars. Um, I wouldn't mind if they would just keep them up to date, or reasonably smooth. There is no reason they couldn't put a cattle grid or something in place which would be better than the potholes that surround these things. It's crazy! Anyway, enough about that. Rank number two. Landfill. Stinks! home and it's the weekend, I've got exciting things to do. Yeah, not so much. Uh, what else? It's pretty quiet for Friday afternoon, I've got to tell you. Sun's out, I think everybody bugged off home early and I can't wait. I would have done the same. I don't want to get things finished. It's nice to have the chills. So here's my next question. Why is it that people in motorised wheelchairs drive along roads that have ditches running along them? No reason for asking. Which brings us to pointless ponderings. Anybody that knows me will have heard me say many times, get your nose out of my tailpipe. You'll have also heard me say, thing. The armpit is a terrific and unique part of the human body. It is the only, only part of the human body which, if surgically removed, is still there. You cut your armpit off, you've still got an armpit. Traveling at approximately bleep miles per hour. Uh, but I believe you can assume it's faster than the speed limit. The speed limit is enforced here rigorously, which is kind of ironic because you can drive for two train tracks, 100 miles, without passing anything except a skunk. Very disjointed episode. My brain's all over the place, it's been that kind of week. Consequently, you're going to have a lot more shots of three to five second clips of me just brainstorming me my back down. And if you don't like it, I would apologize if I could talk up the energy. It's Friday night, I'm going to go home. Oh dear. Play with my new toy, I got a camera. Yay! So, it'll be fun. So, make sure you see it this time. On the way home from work, over there, that's the Skyline Tower and Niagara Falls. Ten minutes. That's an Italian club. We don't talk about that. So today is May 11, 
and again on the way home having a wonderful time dodging all the people in the vehicles coming towards me for some reason they're driving on the left job. Anyway, enjoying a wonderful afternoon. It's hot, I'm sticky, don't ask where, and probably not going to edit that bit out. I thought I would, but I probably won't. Anywho, don't know what's for see tonight. Do know that we're planning to watch some film. Interesting week at work. Don't know what's going to happen there yet. Time will tell. Exciting things. Big red china cars. Highlights. And mobile train tracks. One interesting thing that might be, uh, sorry, one thing that might be interesting to English viewers is a little description about the driving over here. Roads are straight, a mile after mile after mile are straight, no bends, zip. I got cruise control on this. Press this button, I can sit in the back. Did I mention this before? No fun. There's no stick shift, so you can't really do it effective wheel spin, not the way it should be. They're all front wheel drive, so you can't power drift. It's a straight line. The most exciting thing you can do in a car on Canadian roads, apart from going into a river, is to run a red line. Guess what the number one cause of vehicular, as they call it here, accidents are in Canada. People running red lights. And I don't think it's because they're bad drivers, although a lot of them are. I think it's because they either want to die or they're just bored. And frankly, I don't I understand exactly how they feel, because I, I feel that too. There's a red light coming up right here. Be rude to crash in the middle of a sentence. I'm going to turn right after this car has gone. There we go. It's a lovely day. I must stop talking about the weather. It's very British of me, isn't it? Mm. One interesting thing about having a convertible, you're forever picking cyclists out of your teeth. Another noticeable difference between the two countries is that in Canada you can turn right on a red light, which is the equivalent to turning left on a red light in England. Now, I was actually getting used to when I first came to Canada because I find myself sitting at the lights waiting for them to change, the guys behind me getting a little aggravated and honking their arms, quite rightly so. Now I know better, I didn't have the time. Here's the thing, I worry about the day I go back to visit England turn left on that red light, straight under a bus or something. <laughs> Don't take any prisoners over there. Light is green, I went. Your fault. So, I do miss the bends in the road. I miss the stick shift because I love changing up gears. I love being able to drift, especially in the snow because there's a lot of snow here. I really don't miss the train tracks. Sometimes, no sometimes, sometimes. My family are a hardy lot. Just been on Facebook checking out what's going on back in England with the group. One of my grandsons was apparently. Oh, wait, train tracks. Pushed into a doorway by a 40 year old guy. 
He's maybe in high school, yeah. And it's all outrage, etc. about it. The note on Facebook said that he was so upset that he got sent home again for trashing the classroom. You notice the word again. It strikes me that they can look after himself. I don't think there was any sexual element in the uh, gentleman's conduct. I think the kid just pissed him off. Not defending it. Just I know what kids can be like as I used to be. As I said, miles and miles and miles straight. I just turned right onto another straight road. That's straight. Do you see it? I think that's it. That's right. Now, about a half a mile ahead, there's a left turn. I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> well, that was a left turn. This is my uh, beautiful, picturesque new hometown of Port Bolden. And these are our train tracks. And this is me taking a left. All lefts seem to be roughly 90 degrees. Which means you can pretty much do that on the other pilot as well. There we go, that's another left. And I am a block and a half from home. So I'll be saying goodbye now, but first thing I'm going to do is stop at the nice stop sign. Don't kill the nice lady. Family's frowned upon here. It bumps your taxes up. Bit more. Train tracks. And we're home. So this is me saying goodbye. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now.